Good evening. I hope you guys are all ready for Christmas. We're pretty close to there. Not quite got everything in its place yet, but pretty darn close. Really not doing too bad considering we just moved in last month and trying to get everything else taken care of. It is snowing again today and my car is again sitting in the driveway, not in the garage because that has not been cleaned out yet. But um, hopefully, maybe we'll get the garage cleaned out before the third snow. I'm hoping. I'm really hopeful. I think it's going to happen this time. What I'm going to show you guys is just what's been going on the last week. I was really excited about the person of the year and I shared that with Jesse and I videotaped that so you guys can watch it because I was super excited about that. Olivia ended up actually getting pretty sick. Her temperature went up to 104.2. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Olivia, what are you doing? Taking my friends to daycare. You're talking to your friends at daycare? Yeah, I'm going to daycare. All right. Madeline, I think you're doing it wrong. That, that, that's not how it goes. You're supposed to go on top of it. Olivia, where's Jesse? You're gonna sleep there with Jesse? All right, Jesse, pop up. Okay, okay, hold on. She, she pinched you with her foot, what? Yes. What did she, how did she do that? How did she pinch you with her foot? She, she uh, put one foot up here and then put the other foot up here and then squeezed it together. And that hurt? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. You gonna live? You gonna be okay? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Seems like an awful lot of crying over a foot. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. No, Madeline. Madeline. Madeline's trying to get her close up. She's like, here, I give you kisses. Kisses make it all better, Jesse. Stop. Kisses make it all better. <laughs> Stop bite. Stop biting me. Madeline, come here. Hey. Good girl. Good girl. Stop. 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 <laughs> It's the ships. No. <laughs> Put her down. To be fair, she didn't get to come home in a box, so she's experiencing that now. She's gonna eat it. Oh, Madeline, Madeline. You have to her way out. Put it down. Oh. Just 
just in time. Thank you for your cooperation. Jesse, yeah, put your food down quietly, please. Um, you got in the car, and what did you tell me? I look. Uh, pe uh, people at my school say I looked like Will from Stranger Things. And I agree. Like you, your oh, haircut yeah. looks like Will from Stranger Things. But I just googled the image, <laughs> so I'm showing them a picture. First, this is a picture of Jesse from right now. Yes, that's okay. his haircut. This is Will from Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm gonna I, start calling you Will. He seriously looks that not just the haircut, he legit looks like him. Like look at that. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna miss That's you when you cool. go into the wall. <laughs> so I think Jesse's seen bits and pieces of a couple episodes of Stranger Things, but we've decided between Christmas and New Year's, he is going to watch Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you when you go into Upside Down World. I won't well, let him. Upside Down World. I won't let him watch it until after Christmas because we're on strictly Christmas music and Christmas videos right now. But the day after Christmas, we start Stranger Things. Yay! That would explain Olivia. What? what? Eleven. Her stare. Oh, Olivia is totally eleven. Her we obsession call, with waffles. We call. Oh, I didn't think about the waffles. <laughs> Just saying. We call that out like. What her second Christmas? Yeah, she was she... one years old, and at Christmas time, my brother was um, picking teasing on her. her. Yeah, picking on her and teasing her, and um, Olivia gave him a death stare like we had <laughs> never seen before. It was if looks could kill. That was the face, and yeah. Alan elbows me and goes, "If Olivia." nose starts bleeding I'm going to lose my crap but he didn't say crap um, and I'm like oh my goodness yes like that is the exact look from 11 so we have the stranger thing family do you want to do that for Halloween next year absolutely that'd be great that'd, that'd be, be cool. fun we should do that yeah. I just need to keep this hairstyle yeah. and then dress up put, as, oh, uh, we well. can put the Christmas lights everywhere oh we can yeah <laughs> All right. Hey guys. So we are having quite a morning here. Olivia has a little temperature and a cough. Her temperature is staying at like 100.4. So she's not really feeling the greatest right now, which is fine. I mean, tis the season. Kind of glad that it's just a, a little cough and fever right now. So it's manageable, not too bad. But we put up the ornaments yesterday and this morning... We've already had an incident. The tip of this got broke off. Olivia was looking at it and accidentally dropped it. And the problem is, is that I can't find the tip of it. So I've looked everywhere this morning, all over the floor. I've crawled around this entire room and I can't find the broken piece of this. And I am so worried that somebody's going to step on it and get hurt and I just don't want that to happen. So. I'm really worried about that. However, I got some really exciting news that I read, which made me super happy. And that doesn't happen very often when you see the news and it makes you happy. And NBC, um, or the Today Show, I don't know who announced it, but somebody announced it this morning, Times Person of the Year is Greta, who is a teen activist who also happens to have Asperger's, which is a form of autism. In the United States, they don't recognize Asperger's so much anymore. It's just all autism. But I assume where she's from that it's still considered Asperger's. But I am so excited for her for so many reasons because comparing her to the other nominees, 
it, it was just so different. Everything else was political and this was a good thing that she was changing in the world and I am so excited for her and so happy that she won. When I heard that she did and they were talking about her, it literally made me want to tear up because I was so excited for her and the fact that the autism is not the main topic right now about her, at least at least not yet. It's all about the work that she is doing and the good things that she is trying to accomplish in the world. So I just, I absolutely love that. And it's completely made my day and made me so happy to see that. And I'm gonna link the article for you because I'm so excited. So if you wanna see that, just click the details button down below and I'll link the article for you so you guys can see it too. But I am beyond excited. With diagnosis like autism and other things like that, you get a lot of bad news and you're told so many times of what your kids can't do. And this proves without any doubt that kids with or without autism can do whatever it is that they want and whatever it is that they set their mind to and truly change the world. And, um, and you have said, uh, and, and I love that you say this, you say that your Asperger's is a gift, that you, you think it's, you look at it as a gift and I think. Do you know what Asperger's is? No. So Asperger's is a form of autism. Okay. It's a type of autism for to describe kids like yourself that are high functioning. Is she? She has autism. They call it Asperger's, which is what it used to be called in the United States. But now in the United States, they just call them all autism. Instead of having different names for kind of different forms of autism, they just call it all autism and they call it a spectrum because there's all different kinds. So does so, she have low or high? She has Asperger's, which is a type of high functioning autism. So okay, basically like me. Yeah, like you. Okay. Uh, I think it, it is a gift, but explain why you say that. Uh, I mean, in this society, everyone is the same. Everyone thinks the same. And then I think it, it is a gift to be different, to have some kind of, if you are on the autism spectrum, that makes you different. And especially in, in a crisis like this, we need to think outside the box. We need people who think differently. And that means that people who work differently can be a good resource for that. And yep. Um, she uh, said, um, like, she like, um, for, um, like, she goes, p p p then she says the word. Autism? No. P, and she goes, p, and then, like, then she says the word. Like, she says the beginning letter, and then she says the word. Honey, I think it's just, so, her accent, speaking English. Uh, okay. It to you. So we'll have information and resources to help educate people on climate change. You can learn how to reduce your carbon footprint, see what you can do to make a difference. We'll also have information on how to join Greta's climate strikes. As she posts new information, we'll share it on that page. We're committing a $100,000 into promoting that web page to help your message get across. Can we? Do you want to join? Uh, Greta's book, like, Don't Waste Too Small to Make a Difference, is out now, and you're all going to go home with a cup. Like, 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 um, we have to do it in my school, I think? No, honey, like, we can, you can join the fight against climate change. But I like the food that we make, it's delicious. Uh, vegan just means stop eating animals and eggs and animal byproducts like cheese. But some of the uh, stuff we make that's like super delicious, like plants and stuff. Quinoa. Is Quinoa's that, vegan. It's like, is everything that we have like made from factories and stuff? A lot of food that we eat is made from factories, but quinoa would be very acceptable. It's vegan. And then the other thing is not buying new things. So instead of going and buying new stuff, like new clothes, you can go to the thrift store and buy gently used clothes that are still in good condition. That way, it, it helps save the planet. There's what lots about of soap? What? What about soap? 
Well, there's different types of soap that you can use. Some are better than others. And if it's something you're interested in, we can look it up and definitely do it. Okay. Okay. But how cool is that that she is doing all that? Just one teenage girl. And she's up for the Nobel Peace Prize. In Time's Personal Year. That could be you, kid. Maybe. 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 That's because she thinks like you. Her 15... brain works like yours. I'm not 15 years old yet. No. But she's saying because your guys' brain works differently, you guys can come up with maybe different solutions. And better solutions and better options. And that's why you need people in the world that think differently. And not everybody's the same. And that's a good thing. Okay. How cool is that? Okay. Isn't that awesome? Mm-hmm. I'm super excited about this. I feel like you should be more excited. I am. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See? You can do really, really, really cool things. Really good things for the world. Mm-hmm. And get 10 million people to listen to you. Yeah. Even though it is America and she was from Sweden. She so? has an accent. I don't. That has nothing to do with it. Not one bit. Doesn't matter. It's her passion for it that people are paying attention to. What do you mean? She's, she, you said she looks very mad, very angry. Oh, yeah, when, for the president thing. <laughs> yeah. It's because she's very strongly opinionated about it. She has a very strong passion for it. It matters to her a lot. And people can see that when she talks. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's what matters. Don't knock over my house. drastically um it's friday so jesse gets out of school a little earlier and we were supposed to take him back towards home so we could go stay with a relative this weekend and unfortunately olivia has been getting sick she started with like a low grade fever and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and today it's been really bad and we had to figure out where we could take her to go see a doctor without insurance because our insurance doesn't kick in until january 1st and it's still December, super fun. So I got on social media and asked some of the Facebook groups in our area where we could take a child um, without insurance and we got some good suggestions actually. People were very helpful and I am so appreciative of that because I didn't know where to take her. I didn't even know of 90% of the places that they were listing, I'd never heard of them. I found somewhere for her to go, however, after lunch, her fever has now gotten up to 104.2, but at this point, by the time that we drive to the hospital to go to that urgent care that's open and they have an hour wait time, 
I mean, it would make more sense to go ahead and just wait here at the house for an hour um, for the other urgent care to open. So that's what we're trying to do. We've given her some Motrin now, and I keep rubbing cold washcloth on this little one's head. A cold washcloth. Sorry, I am from West Virginia. Um, I hope she gets to feeling better. So Jesse is going to get picked up from school by Alan. Um, and I have a feeling he's going to be a little confused as to what's going on and why all of our plans are changed all of a sudden. But he's normally pretty understanding about that. So hopefully that goes well. So Jesse. Yeah. Slight change of plans today. I know after school, like mommy was supposed to pick you up and after school. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, change of plans. Um, if you noticed, I picked you up. You're welcome. Um, your sister has a 104 temperature. So we are waiting to take her to the doctor. At three. Okay. Okay? Okay. You all right with that? Yeah. You don't look okay with that. Did you take her temperature this morning when I was here? When, I was at that, when we were at the house? Yes. Your sister has literally slept all day, Jesse. She she not feeling good at all. Where is she? She's at the house with mommy. And where are we here? We're getting lunch because mommy hasn't eaten all day. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, no. All right. Good talk. What did Jesse do on the survey? Second question, third question. I was welcomed by all staff members, including front desk nursing <coughs> providers. Disagree. You didn't feel like you were welcomed by them? Just because you're not the patient doesn't Nobody mean that. Nobody me. Honey, they were paying attention to the sick person. <coughs> and don't act like you haven't spent enough time in Children's Hospital and stuff. Do not have been appreciated for their greetings. So it doesn't come dripping out. She's like, it's too bad. I can't do it. Good girl. Good girl. Give me five. You did it. Yeah, now she wants the good one. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Olivia is doing a lot better now. Her temperature is staying down at 99 um, point something. And she's still coughing a lot, but she's doing a lot better. They actually ended up diagnosing her with the flu. Um, since her ears looked fine, her throat looked fine, her lungs sounded clear, they were just going with a virus. They offered Tamiflu, but we've heard so many mixed reviews on the Tamiflu and with her having allergic reactions <laughs> to so many different things, we were a little worried about um, maybe making it worse instead of better. But I'm actually glad we did because the next day she was doing a lot better. The following day she had improved so much and was up and moving around. And like I said, now we're down to 99. So I think um, she's getting a lot better. And my concern was either she wouldn't be better by Christmas or the rest of us would be sick for Christmas. And we are eight days, yeah, eight, nine days um, till Christmas. And nobody else has any symptoms yet. So keeping our fingers crossed that <laughs> we will all be healthy and be able to enjoy Christmas. 
Later this week, I'm actually gonna post a video of our Christmas decorating and some of the Christmas activities that we're, we've been doing. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that video. I should be posting it Thursday or Friday. And um, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas or a Happy Holiday or whatever you celebrate that you just enjoy it. Take care, bye.